DuPont Innovation lowers LCOE by increasing cell efficiencies and system lifetime while reducing total system cost. Materials matter. That is, for me, the show of industry. Hello and welcome to this week's newscast. In the headlines this week, the EC impose 11.8% duties on Chinese manufacturers, Japan is set to be this year's largest global market, Yingli Green consider manufacturing partnerships in the EU and the US, GCL Poly look to follow Chinese module manufacturers to Taiwan, and Centrotherm Photovoltaics end their bankruptcy proceedings. As expected, the European Commission has announced preliminary anti-dumping duties. The twist is that duties of only 11.8% will be applied to Chinese solar manufacturers' modules and cells from the 6th of June, a lower rate than initially expected. In a press conference, European Trade Commissioner Karl de Gucht said duties would be phased in to allow for a negotiated solution. These duties will remain, as previously reported, to be an average of 47%, starting on August the 6th if a diplomatic resolution is not reached between Chinese and European ministers. Duties could still range from 37.2 to 67.9%, with the lower tariffs being applied to Chinese companies that have cooperated with the investigation, for example Yingli Green, which revealed it would incur import duties of 37.3%, which is the lowest rate amongst all Chinese photovoltaic manufacturers, according to the company. The Association for Affordable Solar Energy said any level of tariffs will seriously damage the European solar industry, and the time frame available is not long enough to reach a negotiated settlement. The decision to impose duties was taken despite warnings from hundreds of European solar companies, 15 European photovoltaic associations, as well as various trade associations, including the Federation of German Industry and the German Federation of Wholesale and Foreign Trade. The World Wide Fund for Nature have spoken out publicly against duties, arguing that these will harm not only the European solar industry, but the European economy as a whole. Full updates on this ongoing saga can be viewed on the PVTech website. Japan is set to overtake China and Germany with installations to reach between 6.9 and 9.4 gigawatts this year. The outlook from Bloomberg New Energy Finance revises the lower end of a forecast which earlier predicted Japan to install 6.1 to 9.4 gigawatts of capacity in 2013, with China to lead the way. The revision comes after the Japan Photovoltaic Energy Association announced that Japan's domestic shipments of solar modules rose 73% in the first three months of the year compared to the previous quarter. Solar PV is currently the most popular renewable energy in the country, having increased by 1,329 megawatts between April 2012 and the 31st of January 2013. China will add 6.3 to 9.3 gigawatts of solar this year, trailed by the US at 3.7 to 4.3, according to Bloomberg's estimates. We previously reported that IHS forecast Japan to install 20 billion US dollars worth of PV systems in 2013, up 82% from 11 billion dollars worth in 2012. In an effort to counter anti-dumping duties in both the EU and the US, Yingli Green Energy is considering both outsourcing module production as well as possible joint venture manufacturing partnerships. Yingli Green Management told financial analysts that the company had drawn up several potential business strategies to overcome any duties imposed by the European Commission. Responding to analyst questions on Yingli Green's future strategy should duties be imposed in the EU, Darren Thompson, Managing Director of Yingli Green Energy International, said the company had developed plans but would wait until full declaration of duties was made before deciding which button to press. So far, only René Solar and China Sunergy have officially announced plans to counter duties in the EU. René Solar has taken the outsourcing route, while CSUN has partnered in cell and module production in Turkey. In related news, China polysilicon and wafer producer GCL Poly is looking to help Chinese module manufacturers to establish production operations in Taiwan in a bid to avoid European import tariffs, according to reports. Rumours have recently circulated that some of the leading Chinese module manufacturers are considering production in Taiwan to circumvent possible EU anti-dumping duties by producing wafers, solar cells and modules outside of China. GCL Poly has key wafer supply agreements with a number of Tier 1 Chinese module producers with established wafer production plants located adjacent to large-scale customer facilities. A potential shift of gigawatts of production to Taiwan would seriously impact GCL's revenue-generating ability. 
The company has solar wafer supply agreements in China with the likes of Canadian Solar, Trina Solar, JA Solar and CSUN amongst others. The materials firm is also a major supplier in Taiwan to solar cell producer Neo Solar Power and module manufacturer Dell Solar, both of which have recently merged. Jerry Stokes, the former president of SunTech Europe, has joined Norwegian PV manufacturer Inotech Solar AS as CEO. Stokes will be based in Munich, where the sales and marketing operations of Inotech Solar are located. Inotech was one of the supporters of anti-dumping duties against Chinese manufacturers in Europe. And finally, major PV equipment supplier Centrotherm Photovoltaics said it had successfully restructured the company under insolvency proceedings, securing around 900 jobs. The Ulm District Courts approved Centrotherm's insolvency plan, enabling the company to operate independently once again. Subsidiaries Centrotherm Thermal Solutions and Centrotherm SciTech GmbH are also expected to have proceedings halted. According to NPD SolarBuzz, Centrotherm was the leading PV equipment supplier during 2006 and 2007. And that's all for this week. Be sure to join us next time, but until then you can stay up to date with all the latest solar news on our website and via our Twitter feed. Thanks for watching.